Did you ever think that Amazon, the king of online shopping, would venture into the world of groceries? Well, hold on to your shopping carts, because that's exactly what happened when they bought Whole Foods. Yes, the same Whole Foods where you can get overpriced organic avocados and fancy cheese that you can't even pronounce. Yeah, they bought that. But this wasn't just any old-fashioned acquisition. Amazon disrupted the entire grocery industry with this move, and the impact was felt far and wide. Suddenly, your weekly grocery run was about to get a whole lot more high-tech and, let's be real, maybe a little bit more convenient. In today's episode, we're going to dive deep into how Amazon pulled off this massive disruption and what it means for the future of grocery shopping. Shall we dive in? Now let's start by talking about Whole Foods and its story. So it all started way back in 1978, when young college dropout named John Mackey and his girlfriend Renee Lawson borrowed $45,000 to open a small natural food store called Saferway in Austin, Texas. The store was only 450 square feet, but it was a labor of love for the young couple who were passionate about healthy living and eating. One year later, Mackey and Lawson merged Saferway into another natural food store called Clarksville Natural Grocery and Whole Foods Market was born. The new store was still in Austin, but it was much bigger and offered a wide range of natural and organic food. The name Whole Foods was chosen to reflect the company's commitment to providing customers with wholesome, healthy, and sustainable products. Their early days were tough for Mackey and his team. They struggled to make ends meet and faced fierce competition from larger, more established grocery chains. But they persevered and their commitment to quality and customer service paid off. In the 1980s, Whole Foods began to expand beyond Austin opening stores in other cities in Texas and eventually branching out to other states. The company's focus on organic and natural products made it a hit with health-conscious consumers, and Whole Foods quickly became the go-to destination for anyone looking for high-quality, sustainable sourced food. As the company grew, it faced criticism from some quarters for being too expensive and catering only to affluent customers. But Mackey and his team remained committed to their core values, which included a commitment to ethical sourcing, environmental sustainability, and community engagement. In 2007, Whole Foods made a bold move by acquiring its main competitor, Wild Oats Markets, in a deal worth $565 million. The move was controversial and faced opposition from some quarters, but it allowed Whole Foods to expand even further and cement its position as the leading natural foods retailer in the United States. Today, Whole Foods has over 500 stores across the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom. That's right, 500. And that number is growing all the time. But it's not just about the number of stores. It's about the impact that Whole Foods has on the world. Whole Foods is committed to sourcing the best products from around the world and bringing them to their customers. They work directly with farmers and producers to ensure that their products are of the highest quality and meet their strict standards for natural and organic products. But it's not just about the food. It's about the whole shopping experience. Whole Foods stores are designed to be more than just grocery stores. They're a place to connect with others, learn about healthy living, and discover new products. From cooking classes to wine tastings, there's always something happening at Whole Foods. And speaking of new products, have you heard about Whole Foods' new partnership with Amazon? Now, this is where the biggest turn happens. You see, there are going to be a ton of changes in the grocery sector within the next five years. Well, for starters, it means that marriage of the online shopping world with the brick-and-mortar experience. Imagine being able to order your groceries online and then swing by your local Whole Foods to pick them up. No more wandering through aisles trying to remember what you needed to buy. But that's not all. Amazon is known for its use of technology to streamline processes and make shopping more efficient. With their expertise, we can expect Whole Foods to become a more technological advanced store. Self-checkout lines. Now, what we have at the moment is a headache. We all know that waiting in line at the grocery store can be a real pain in the you-know-what. And don't even get me started on those self-checkout machines that always seem to malfunction right when you're in a rush. But Amazon has the plan to change all that. So, how exactly is Amazon planning to grow the technology of self-checkout with Whole Foods? Well, they developed something called Just Walk Out Technology, which allows customers to simply grab what they need and go. No more scanning items or waiting in long lines. But you may be wondering, How successful is this technology? Well, so far, the reviews have been pretty darn good. Customers love the convenience and speed of the system, and Whole Foods has reported increased sales since implementing it in select stores. That's not all. Amazon has big plans for the future of self-checkout. They plan to expand the technology to more Whole Foods locations and even other retail stores. And mark this, they're also working on integrating the system with their Amazon Go stores, which already use the Just Walk Out technology. Cool, right? 
So what can we expect within the next five years with this technology? Well, the possibilities are really endless. Imagine being able to walk into any store, grab what you need, and just walk out without ever having to wait in line. It's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. And with Amazon's vast customer data, we can expect to see more personalized recommendations and deals for shoppers. And while all of this is great, we shouldn't forget about the impact on prices. Whole Foods has been notorious for its high prices in the past, but with Amazon's influence, we may see a shift towards more affordable options. With Amazon's purchases of Whole Foods, there's potential for a shift in pricing. Amazon is known for its competitive pricing and ability to offer deals and discounts, which could potentially make Whole Foods more accessible and affordable to a wider audience. Not only that, but Amazon's acquisitions of Whole Foods means that they now have access to Whole Foods' network of suppliers, which could allow Amazon to expand their own grocery offerings and provide even more options for customers. Now, finally, you might be thinking about the impact on other grocery stores. Will Amazon's ownership of Whole Foods put smaller grocery stores out of business? It's hard to say at this point, but it's clear that Amazon's entry into the grocery industry is shaking things up. Sure, Amazon can offer lower prices and faster delivery, but that doesn't mean the smaller stores are out of the game. Hear me out. Smaller grocery stores are unique in their own way. They offer a personalized shopping experience where you can find specialty items and unique products that you might not find in a big box store. Plus, the owners and employees of smaller stores often have a deep connection with their communities, providing a level of customer service that can't be matched. In short, Amazon can offer everything that smaller stores do. They might not have the same charm and character, the same sense of community, or the same specialty products. And let's be honest, sometimes you just want to support local businesses, right? In the end, it's hard to say whether Amazon's ownership of Whole Foods will put smaller grocery stores out of business. It really depends on how the smaller stores adapt to the changing landscape of the grocery industry. They might need to focus on their unique offerings and personalized customer service to keep their loyal customers coming back. Anyway, there are still some kinks to work out, and not everyone is thrilled, especially about the idea of automated checkout systems replacing human workers. But hey, progress is progress, right? One thing is for sure, with any major change in a company, there's always a concern for the workers. However, Amazon has already promised to keep Whole Foods team members on board and maintain their benefits. Plus, with the potential for increased efficiency and technological advancements, there may even be new opportunities for growth and advancement within the company. Now, I know change can be scary, but in this case, I believe it's for the better. With Amazon's expertise and Whole Foods' commitment to quality, we can expect a grocery shopping experience that's both convenient and enjoyable. And who knows, maybe we'll even see some drones delivering our groceries in the future. What do you guys think? Do drop your views in the comment section below. Anyway, we'll meet again with another exciting update. Until then, bye.